get ready with me to go out at the University of Arizona. The first thing I'm going to do is skin prep. Um, I've had a pretty boring day today. I got a lot of stuff done in the morning and then after that I took a long nap and woke up at like 6 and was like, what just happened? Here at U of A, every night is literally a night to go out. There's moves every single night. So if you're looking to go to a school that you will not be in your dorm at night and you'll be having fun at night every single night, come here <laughs> i feel like my makeup routine every single time i go out is literally the exact same thing over and over and over again so i'm gonna try and switch it up tonight recently i've been trying to like figure out my style like what i how i want to dress what i want to be like how i want my room because i feel like growing up i never really found that for myself like growing up with sisters you don't really understand because you kind of just do what they do and i liked it then but now i'm kind of ready to branch out <laughs> For some reason, I'm always literally the last one ready. And it's actually been a normal, like, thing for me to say no, I'm not going out. And then I see all my friends getting ready and, like, in the room over there listening to music and stuff. And I get ready in, like, 15 minutes and I end up going. No one can literally tell me differently. The best part of going out is just getting ready. Like, if this wasn't a whole thing, I would never go. <laughs> That's so false because actually once I'm there, I literally have so much fun. But like low-key, like trying to get myself out of bed before I get ready is like the worst time ever because I'm like not ready. I don't know what my outfit's gonna be. I'm stressed out. My makeup's not done. My hair, like I have to figure out my curly hair. It's just awful. And then I get there and I'm like, okay. I'm so mad. I went home to Georgia for Christmas break and to California and I left literally all my new makeup there. So now I'm back to using my old makeup and it's not fun because this is literally destroyed and broken open and it's, everything else was like new and from Christmas and I was so excited. Spring break is literally coming up so fast. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna end up doing anything. My spring break is March 2nd. Like, that's not even spring. I mean, maybe it is, but like, I'm not ready for that yet. Usually it's in April, isn't it? Once again, I'm gonna put you guys on this NYX brow gel, guys. I have been using this consistently for probably two years now. Get it. What do you guys think about me getting my third piercing or my cartilage? I really want one. Sierra has her cartilage done and I love it. But I just don't know because I'm scared it's going to get like infected and then it's going to get like one of those keloids and then I'm going to literally cry every single day. Unpopular opinion, curling your eyelashes is literally the worst step of my mascara routine. It's so scary. I really need to get the full size of this mascara because I'm running out and it's literally the only one I can use that I like. People ask for a mascara routine. I literally just curl them and then I use this Ilia mascara and just put it on however I want, like literally fast. There's not really like a routine to how I do it. And then once I like how they look, I just stop. <laughs> but I do prefer more clumpy eyelashes. Like some people will probably look at mine and be like, oh, they're clumpy. But personally, I just think they look good like that, so. I got this from Target when I was with my friends the other day, and now I'm going to try it and see if it stays on the whole night. Guys, I don't usually do a color this bold, but I guess it's good for today. See you guys.